Evelyn Okubo. You see, this story I'm telling you people is not it's not um fake. -o. It's true life story. In fact, this Evelyn gave birth to all you know if he sees children. In fact, this child that is oil gas and everything, this woman is the mother of all those children. Then she has a cousin. Her name is Nusa. Her name is Nusa. In fact, Nusa was li living with her. Nusa was living with her. I will show you all these people I'm mentioning so that you don't, you will learn that life you have to be very careful. This is the man called Captain Osa, the rich man. This is the man called Captain Osa. When he was well and when he fell sick. Can you see? This man has money. I am not talking about money that can that they can change you. I am talking about money that that is. Agbano, Yoruba people call it Agbano. I don't know what Oyibo people call it, so cannot enter. Except God takes that money. This is a man that has good money. But when it was time for God to take him home, the man had pancreas cancer. You know pancreas cancer? That was exactly what killed the owner of, uh, what was this, um, Apple, this phone that we are all using, Apple, the CEO of Apple, it was time for him to go home. But what, what I learned in, about his life, and I'm sure angels will be asking him now, is that he had a wife, the senior, the wife, wait till I'm coming, this is the wife, Evelyn, this is the wife. Can you see her? Can you see him? Evelyn, the wife. They, they, they started, they were together. They went through it all together. And you do read people remember me saying that there was a, there's a cousin of Evelyn that was living with them. That is the, no sir. That's the cousin that was living with them. Cousins, they are cousins. Because sometimes you wonder, you see, when you see people that in this world we are, people worship money. In this world that we are, people serve money. When you have money, there's nothing you cannot do. In fact, I have stopped to respect human beings because anybody can sell you for money. This lady, Nosa, is this woman's cousin. She was living in their house. In fact, this lady, Nosa, was dating this Captain Osa's friend that time. This lady. She was dating this Captain Osa's friend that time when she was living with them. This Captain Osa... And Evelyn used to be the one that would be putting out so that because when Nosa has problem with Captain uh, Osa's friend, I've forgotten his name now. It will be this. It will be this man, this Captain Osa, and the wife Evelyn. I will show you Evelyn again. That will be settling the matter. Nai. Cousin decide, call the friend in cousin husband. She now say friending, say having relationship with her cousin's husband. I can't they wonder. In fact, I was in Ekpom at that time. When this relationship started, I was there because I know this lady's younger sister. Her name is Ebua. This Nosa has a younger 
this losa has a younger sister called ebua even there was another lady angela was very close to ebua all of them i know them nosa was staying in that house in fact there was a time that you know everybody was asking her that oh don't do why are you dating your family's husband why why can't you look for your own elsewhere that time ah she very pretty girl very pretty girl on ground very pretty you no know, so pretty if in fact this woman too evelyn is pretty until life can't change for her you understand she then she she wasn't fine anymore Oh, but she don't come, she not come fine. But she was pretty when she was still in with Captain Nosa. Now, this is Nosa. Uh, sorry, this is uh, the Evelyn and Captain Nosa. This is Evelyn and Captain Nosa. Os Osa, I say Nosa, sorry. Is Nos this is Nosa. You know, when the man spent money on her very well, look at her. She was living in their house. She was living in their house. Look, I went to, a, I went to a university with Ebuwa, the blood sister of Nosa. So, in fact, if they show my video to Nosa, she has been to my house before. But I'm not close to her. Is my friend that is close to them. They used to move with Nekme them. All those sets in Nekme. Eh, I've forgotten their names now. Angela. All of them. So, I didn't even know that she's the one that is married to Captain Osa. I didn't know. Because she didn't come, to, she didn't go to my Ekpoma. It was the younger sister that went to Ekpoma. So, I didn't know until when the man died and I, they now told me somebody was now asking me that don't I know the uh, uh, Captain Nosa? And I say, ah, Captain Nosa, I, I know him more. They always praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. But I don't know him personally. I've never seen him before. But I know some one girl that used to have something to do with have him that time that was living with them. Even in fact, at the time she said having something to do with him. The woman was so angry. That is, Evelyn was very angry because she kept saying, no, you can't. You cannot have a relationship with my husband. Knowing fully well that we be family. You, they stay with us. I, they, I mean, my husband, they put mad for your relationship with another man. My, yourself, you know, yourself, you know, in and out of this family. So I was shocked when I look at the photo very well. I can't see saying that true. Nanosa, Nanosa, they die. And I went to look. I was now studying the matter. You know, the thing was giving me. I didn't even know that the man has left the, he has left the Evelyn. He don't divorce Evelyn. That, you know, they, they be, you know, papers have been carrying it before. They, they happily divorced. So, you know, tape, you know, all these papers when they pay their money. And maybe I'm not saying that Nosa paid them, but I, I want to say something because I'm going to read the court verdict regarding this matter. You know, so I, I was wondering in my head, you know, I thought to myself, I said, how can a woman have somebody in her home? Then a rich man. Because he is rich. We get away with this kind of thing. It can only be a rich person that can do this kind of thing. If now poor man now, now we women go come out. You understand? And his family as well. It's amazing that this, things like this happen in life. And you begin to wonder, is it really worth it? Though this woman's children, they are made though, God really bless them. You know, one of her child is one is the, the married to the new king of one of these. Um, the, when they married, they married. My mother was at that wedding, in fact. My own mother. If you see the day they did that girl's wedding in Bini, they closed down Bini now. My mother, my biological mother, 
was at that wedding. Of that, this lady, the Evelyn's daughter. In fact, when the, the judge, everything that they wore, Captain Osa, because my mother is a friend to Captain Osa's family, relative, Gogo, in Nakakos. So the way they invited them, they invited them with, you know, luxury. They gave them George. Actually, they didn't, they told uh, everything they gave them was just come. Thank you. Speak if you know about it. Oh, yeah, 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 I do. I'm not, uh, <laughs> I don't, um, Patricia, you see me, I don't, it's not hearsay. It's me, I don't do uh, hearsay. I don't, Evelyn, I don't, the last time I saw Nosa was in, when I was in Ekoma. She came, she came with her sister to my house. Not, she's not my friend directly, but if you show her my video, she will, you, she knows me. Because she's a friend to a friend. That is, they are friend to a friend. They move with neck with them. They are not my personal friends. You understand? So, me, I'm just talking the story as I know her. And which is no lie. No adding, no, re no uh, removing. Now, when the, when, when they now, when, when I now heard that Captain Osa died and I discovered that it was Nosa that was giving ev that every problem that time, that is now the widow. I was shocked. I said, really? So Nosa ended up marrying this Captain Osa. Ah. Women, you people are you people are wicked though. Ah. You people are tough and you are wicked towards each other. You people are tough and you are very wicked towards each other. I was shocked. I've been listening, you know, I've now been following the matter. I've been very calm, watching what will happen. Then for me to wake up yesterday, then I now saw it, and I, I now heard that, you know, Nosa asked that the wife, this ex-wife should not come for the wedding. Ah, sorry, to pay last respects to her husband. And I was saying, no, how is, how is that possible? How is that possible? How is that possible that the woman will not come for the husband's, I mean, ex, you know, to pay her last favor when she has adult children that's even, that are even married, that are well, doing well? What could she have done? I said, um, Oh, I, but that's, oh, okay. Uh, go and ask, go and sit down with the people that know them. They will tell you. Uh, yeah, Olu of Worry. Yeah, Olu of Worry is, you know, the daughter. Yeah, Olu of Worry. You are right. That They just installed that uh, man now. That's, that's the son, son-in-law. So I now said, uh -uh, I have to know why Dosa said that this woman, Evelyn, should not attend. I now Googled it. I said, it cannot be, it, if it is rumor, let it stay rumor. If it is rumor, let it stay rumor. And I now went inside Google. I said, I typed it. Did Nosa place any restriction on the senior wife? And bagam, Google brought it out for me that it is true. Ah, let me read it. I will show you people. And I said, how can Nosa do this to the first wife? How is that possible? This is something, this a story that we know. Am I making sense? So I now Googled it. I now brought it out. I now was reading it. I will show you people now. Where is it now? Now, go, go. See, you see that it's not me forming the story. See, so I want to read it. Osa Okubo's widow asked court to restrain late husband's ex-wife from parading self as widow. Listen again. Osa, Osa, gas captain, Osa, this man. This was when he was almost going, you understand? You know, he's, 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 much, he's more healthier than this on a normal day. But this was when it was time for God to take him home. You understand? So... These are, see the two of them, oh, I will show you people the two of them now. Wait, I'm coming. Because I will go back to that story again. Together with Captain Osa. 
during his lifetime, but a long time. Wait, one moment. I'm in shock. As in, ah, I just fear. Okay, look at this picture. Can you see that is Evelyn? That is this man. That is um, Nosa. That's Evelyn there. Can you see how she looks? She looks drained. And that is Nosa. Can you see? Can you see the difference is clear? Under that chart, if you see waiting there right there, <clears throat> this is Evelyn when she was still with, this is her when she and Osa really, really start. Did you see them? Can you see them? But look at her when Nosa have taken over. She look like Idede. That is as if she's the mother of Captain Osa. Can you see? She look like Idede here. So, now, I now, sorry, I wanted to read something to you people. I'm so sorry. I wanted to read something to you people. Uh, then, I then saw that part. Then the thing shocked me. That's, I just, they shocked. Like, really? Then it goes like this. Hosa's, Hosa Okubo's widow asked court to restrain late husband ex-wife from parading self as widow i then ask a question this osa man captain osa of blessed memory now obviously we have family do you understand obviously we have family where are they why would nosa say that this woman should not come and pay her last respect even though no it's a lock you know it's a lock that she's able to sweep that woman away it's a lock i wouldn't it's a it's a lock abby i wouldn't say more than that because left to me it's 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 when you chase another woman from or maybe due to the fact that the woman could not contain the woman refused that no sir and her cannot marry the same man this is somebody that she calls auntie auntie i i'm aware this is somebody that she holds in high esteem which i know then all of a sudden, hearing that that was the person she married because the captain also get money where, where. So I now heard, and, and see, can you see, I'll read it. And Edo State High Court has issued an order upon the Esparte application. Esparte application, for those of you, I will tell you about it. It's like applying for an injunction. And it's always urge with urgency. Obviously, with the money this man has and with what he has given to what Dosa is controlling, she can ask for it. They are in charge. Am I making sense? Application brought by counsel to Mrs. Nosa Igehon Okubo, wife to the late, late business mogul, restraining Edanwe Evelyn Asemota. An ex-wife of the captain Idahosa Wells Okubo from participating and presenting herself as his widow as his burial rights begins. That is the reason. It's not as if that she should not come there and participate as a widow and she should not come and parade herself as a wife. She should stay away. Ah. If God is looking at all these kind of things, Captain Osao, you will sleep well. Oh. I'm just asking our men to please look at how they do their back. Because, you know, if you ask me, how will the children of that woman be feeling? You know, more or less like disgracing. Because I, I, don't, see, I don't think this woman is able to marry somebody else. You understand? How can you, you know, when you leave or you stop being with somebody you love or something like that, or, you know, someone you did your childhood with, then all of a sudden, somebody you know, your relative just marries that person. 
you understand so all of a sudden you know you you probably maybe she can't she never got herself together anymore even if she has boyfriend gone you know go sweet and read this man the most so she has children big big children for this man very disgraceful very shameful acts as in they put it in the paper go and read street journal i googled it when i heard the news i heard the news i said no it's not possible now i continue reading so from participation and presenting herself as his widow as his burial rights begins when me me way not be we me way be say i was never married to the father of my first child i was never married never it was a child outside wedlock i was i never did romeo and juliet like this evening did with the husband do you understand nothing like that when the mother died because the mother in fact my daughter's name the mother was the one that gave my daughter mary that's why in in her schools here yeah, because she went to catholic schools as you know primary and secondary they call her mary the consola is my mom that gave her consola i didn't give her any name so where am i coming from is that that woman is somebody that you no know, it doesn't matter if you know my parents don't like them but i i will always the woman is to me a good woman very good fantastic woman of blessed memory when she died i was opportuned to be in nigeria at that time ask people k1 was the one that sang at that barrier k1 king masha i was there I wore Ankara. In fact, guess what? I cooked. Upon that, never a time, me and this man were never, nothing like, eh, my, in fact, my, my father we never saw him. But I was there. And he is married. This man is married. That is the father of my child. He's married. I was there with my friends. We wore Ankara that they took. And the table they gave me, I put my friends there with my siblings that followed me. And we, we made moderate food because you don't expect me to go and be begging for food at their party. Or they should come and be serving me food. No. I class myself. I cook my food for just uh, maybe 10 of us. And on that our table, I went in front of K1. K1 praised me with my, my, my daughter. My daughter that I came to represent my daughter. That's somebody that I'm not married to. Talk less of we were married. We have children. And you see, they, they always say, they said, heaven is going to carry plates. All of us when we die. They say angels will start to go around. And we we'll start be hearing what people are saying. As, as far as I am concerned now, angels are hearing what I am saying. Angels are hearing what I am saying. Do you get me? Now, they now said, Asemota is the defendant. When you are a defendant, you understand what that means? Is that, uh, Asemota, I think that is Evelyn's uh, Benin name. I think uh, Evelyn, Evelyn is her English name. A defendant so no size the plaintiff the complainants is the ongoing legal dispute with the applicant the matter came up for hearing today october 6 2021 before his lordship so that woman was charged and was given a restraining order that was what was taken to the courts are you here listening? The matter came up for hearing today and honorable, be, before his lordship, honorable, honor, it's honor, sorry, justice, V-O-A, Ovia Weve, the motion was moved by counsel to the applicant, Mr. R.O. Isemo Kedikon, who appeared with A.O. Akito Mide. The court consequently held as follows, and I want you people to hear the decision. Was this granted? Listen carefully. I have carefully considered, that is the judge talking now, this application which is brought as parte. 
I have seen. That is not the bone of contention, Mary J. Wilson. Nobody said she should be addressed a widow. Whoever is behind that. It is just sense that tells every one of us that if she wants to participate in burying her, I mean, coming to the barrier of her father, of her, of her husband's children, so what? After all, the willy willy they are fighting for, and I think she is a even the rightful owner is dead. She's the rightful owner. Is dead. So she's not, I'm not, she's not asking to be the widow. Thank God she's not even a widow. Because it's the person that is a widow that should feel being a widow. But what I see here is that she should be allowed to come and play her part. As in come and represent her children. Why stop her? Let's be real. She's even the rightful owner of this man. It's a fellow woman that went to destroy that home. You know, that's why I say when you are rich, you get away with bullshit. You get away with bullshit when you are rich. If it's a poor man, will, he, will, will this happen? Of course, will he even have money to go and do a spate? You won't have money. You won't have money. So, all this kind of thing won't even come up. But when you have money, you, you can do bullshit. Really, really, really. It is totally unfair. To deprive that woman that right to be there, at least with her children. After being deprived of her husband. After being deprived of her husband. She's not fighting. I am using it as a case study. She has not brought her case to me. I have seen that's what we do. When we see cases like this on social media, we bring it. Even if, you not, even if they return by price. Did they return the children back to heaven? The children she bore for that man are still Okubo's children, Captain Osa's children. She too was once married. And it wasn't that she purposely left the man. It was a, a, a broken, it was a it was it was it was someone that, that came to destroy the marriage. And I want to believe it is Nosa. That's not what we are saying. What we are saying is that. All of all the people that are connected to Kapteosa only Jeku genuine. As far as we, we even if there's culture, we are not concerned about that. We are talking about the fact that why can't she be there? So you people will say because you, you are no more, the person is no more married to this person. The person cannot be there to to just be pre to present to be present so that they bear. What what does that help? Kapteosa is gone. Does it stop anything? Does it stop you from acquiring all the money and the wealth he has? No. I don't think this woman has said, oh, I want to share all the... If not, nothing. There's nothing all these people want from this Kapteosa more than money. It's all money. If the man not get money, will they be killing themselves or be fighting over him like this? We Would we even hear this story? It's because he has private jets. He has money. That's why he's, he's, he's a celebrity. It's his money. All these women now, uh, they are very irrelevant. The one who will know them, if not for Captain Osa. If not for, if not for Captain Osa. How can you be fighting if not that his money now, all these women are uh, after? All of them. All of them, they are supporter, everything. Why is it that a man died if they want to bury him? After all, she was with the man in London when he died. She was with the man in London. Because when I saw some people went to visit them in his beautiful house, all these people waiting, they work. They don't work now. Now this man get all this money. To be very real, 
When we knew Captain Osa, when they used to pray him, now everything they take praise and with now. It was everything that Shino Peace has sang his name with now. No, sir, wasn't in the picture. When they praised this man, it was everything she not Peter. When that captain, sir, they were used to spend money for she not Peters. It was everything. Who was who is this Mary? The younger wife will have up. We are not talking about that, Mary, please. We are talking about what we know. What we are saying is they should not have sold that. We are not talking about that. Please don't come and bring your. As I was saying, courtroom. Are you people listening to me? As I was saying, now the thing is this. I personally would think it's greedy. It's unfairness. It's you know she's been deprived of so many things, and I can imagine the hatred. That this will continue in that family, which has always been there anyway. Because if there was no hatred, if not that this ma that man didn't plan his back very well, if there was no hatred, how will the family of Captain Osa sit around and just see that, oh, they say that the first wife should not come? Because they are all bread and butter. They have been giving small, small token, bread, butter. Thank you. Thank you. The late Yes, you are right. Isabel Don Clementa, the late captain's family is to blame. I know exactly how these things happen. Exactly. They are to blame. You get it right. Exactly. The, that's, my, that's where the only thing, you are the only person that has said something reasonable here. And because you are a man, your thinking faculty is sound. I, I applaud you. I applaud you because you are a man. Your thinking faculty is sound. I don't, I, I'm not a hypocrite. I don't uh, miss my word. When I see that justice is not served here, I say it as it is. Because one day, God forbid, I be put in this kind of situation. I will stand to say, no, this is unfair treatment. So the court now said, I have carefully considered this application which is brought ex parte. I have seen the affidavit of urgency and the affidavit in support of the motion together with the exhibit attached. I have also, cons I have also given consideration to the written address containing the submission of the counsel and the legal authority relied upon. Then the judge said, Exactly. Thank you, organic quick. Don't change the topic. No matter the culture and tradition, they should allow the woman to pass her, pass her last respect with her children. Thank you, organic quick. I don't know that women too that are reasonable are here. Thank you. Hold on. Hello, anymore. I'm doing a live chat. Yeah. So, you see, that, that's it. It's about the last respect. Nobody is fighting widow. This, the topic and the bone of contention here, that Mary has come here to try to twist it. We are not here fighting for widow. Nobody is saying she's a widow. It is Nosa that is a widow. She's not a widow. Thank God for her. She's not a widow. After all, the man has divorced her before he died. So it's Nosa that is a widow. But however, she, she should... She, somebody is saying something. Everyone will die one day. Captain Osa dead might just be due to karma. And that so-called other wife will also die one day and leave all the wealth. Wealth is, you see, I just see about the fact that they just want to bring that woman out of the whole picture. Because even looking at her, she doesn't look like a happy woman. I think she was deprived of joy from early in that marriage. The, an, an order of interim injunction. In the meantime, that's what that means. In the meantime, interim, for now, is hereby granted. They granted her that injunction restraining the defendant, who is the respondent, from parading or holding out herself as a widow. You see, herself as a widow of the late 
Captain Idoahosa. You see, the, the problem here is this. <laughs> when, when they say she's holding out, if she's willing to pay her last respect, she must be allowed to. <laughs> the problem here is, if someone has so many children for a man, automatically in Nigeria, they, they will be saying widow. I don't think that woman placed on her head because many things about Captain Nosa is in Nosa Sand. So how they now say calling her a widow is the choice of spectators. It's as if they are still doing rivalry. Even though, come to think of it, it's her, it's her husband that was snatched. Let's be real. Her husband was snatched by someone that lived in her house, a relative. Go and ask. Go, this story I'm telling you people, go and ask them in their family. They will tell you. Go to their family. They will tell you it's the gospel truth. I am not adding. I'm not removing. But I want us to learn. You see why? Sometimes it's always hard to accommodate people. It's hard to get close to people. It's hard. You understand? To get close to people. When she was staying with them, Kafteosa used to have a lot of girlfriends. In fact, many of the people that babes... That even she, she's seen now. Many of them, of course she knows. Captain Osa had round all of them. The man was, <laughs> because he has money, you know. Girls, women don't care. Anything money, they will live their life. Cousin will sleep with husband. Auntie will sleep with your best friend will sleep. Many of her friends, of also, that man round them. That man round them. Nobody, they take and spoil Captain Osa, make him so rest. But, for her to do that to that woman, then eventually they did that again. You know, like she would be in pains all the days of her life. It's like an error. It's like an error. It's painful. Just seeing this thing that they granted that interim, inju interim injection, it pains me. I wish I was the joy that presided over this case. I won't have granted that injunction. I will never grant that judge. But I want to believe that the, he, the man has been bought. Or whoever the judge is. You know, I'm not in Nigeria. But I can say that he's been bought over. They've used influence to tackle that woman. <laughs> From doing anything that would disrupt the burial ceremony scheduled. They said... Um, Holding, okay, parading or holding out herself as a widow of the late captain. You know, it's just like they just went to play in the courts. Holding out herself. And from doing anything that would disrupt the burial ceremonies scheduled to begin on the 5th of pending the hearing and determination of the moti motion on notice. This case is hereby. They never, man never reach heaven. They are saying going to court. Doesn't it say a lot? You know, men, you see, I don't pity, you know, when life, life comes, turns this way to, for men. You understand? Sincerely, I don't pity them. Sincerely, I don't. I'm only talking to you people that are alive. Be very careful. The relative husband you marry. The kind of husband you marry. Because at the end of the day, tell me the truth. Can that Evelyn ever be happy all the days of her life?